he arrived to Zolochev castle and the place uh, where around 100 Jews were killed during World War II. In this corner they were killed and buried and uh, it happened straight after the Nazis captured the city of Zolochev. The first Zolochev stone synagogue uh, had been built in early 19th century and then from the many of internet resources I found the synagogue was built on this spot. Now it's, uh, it's empty space just beside behind the uh, bus station. I found a few old houses not far uh, from the place where synagogue used to be. I don't know how old they are. And the synagogue used to be just straight ahead on that. We just left the place where the old synagogue used to be and we are driving to Jewish cemetery. And I would like to just show you how far uh, the cemetery was from the synagogue. It's a winter time <coughs> and we had a lot of snow about a week ago but all the snow got melted because the temperature is about plus 3 and uh, as you can see we have a lot of dirt, mud. There's another old house. So we continue to driving to Jewish cemetery. Here we are, we arrived to Jewish cemetery in Zolochil and it's a huge area as you can see and it's surrounded by metal fence all around but I can't see any headstones there's no stones at all only a big monument place looks good Somebody taking a well care of, of it. You see still some snow left. And but I can't see any headstones. I am on the middle of the cemetery and it looks like it used to be some building in the middle of the cemetery. It's only pieces of stones around, but hard to say they are headstones or just the stones. 
Now you can see the monument. A freshly planted tree all over the place. And here's some foundation left from the old building. I don't know what kind of building used to be there. But all those stones left. And uh, those stones are not from the headstones. It's just the stones left from the building. I can see a few stones, headstones. Yeah, definitely. Only one, maybe two. We are leaving Dolce and driving along the cemetery fence. We're heading off. Thank you.